So, in part one just now, I'm still learning this stuff, by the way. I showed you the curtains against the walls. And here, I'm going to show you. I can't turn it around. Anyway, I'll show you this. This is the complete room. There's my workstation that I was telling you all about. And this is how to keep everything contained as far as doing woodworking and sawdust and everything else in one area. I still have access to my tool chest. I have all my tools and everything that I need up here because whatever I'm going to be working on, I'll bring into this particular area. Now, the cool part is that all I did was go to Harbor Freight and I bought this. They're just dog leashes, right? And I think they're like four or five bucks a piece and bought the zip ties, went to the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, and bought these uh, shower curtains that all match for a dollar. So for under 20 bucks, I have an area that's self-contained that I can actually keep open or closed just like this or open it up. Bring it over. I still have access to my workbench, the doorway, and of course my work desk for art, creativity, whatever I want. All we have to do is take this stuff and move it up and out of the way. And I have accessibility and sunlight and whatever else. So, the cool thing is, this is something that I thought really needed to be done to help contain and not allow sawdust, dirt, whatever else to be tracked everywhere. And so I decided that I was going to do this probably a few days ago and actually went to Harbor Freight because they're having a great sale yesterday and today. Uh, and I needed some uh, saw blades for my new table saw. And that's that right there with my speaker and everything on it. And that's what I listen to my music on and normally set it on the... Uh, this type of uh, <clears throat> shelf that's above me. But it's a really great idea. It's something you can do to use in your own shop. And you don't have to worry about getting a whole bunch of stuff flying everywhere. Now, yes, I have to worry about what's up above and consider everything as far as dust and stuff flying. I'm thinking about just hanging regular plastic down um, which I can easily remove or move out of the way in case I want to get up to the uh, the stuff up, uh, up above, just like this over here. And that's not going to be a problem. But the biggest thing is what is actually going to go flying against that wall. And like I said, I use contractor construction bags, really thick mill plastic. I'm not sure what the mill is. And... It's going to be something that is going to help reflect and just drop all of it. Now, the cool thing is that everything here, including the uh, table saw, this workbench, and my tool chest is all portable. So, it's not going to be a problem sweeping all this stuff up. All I got to do is pick up my rug, pick up my mat, you know, and sweep everything out. So if you think this is a good idea for your shop, let me know. If you think there's any improvements that I can make on this idea, let me know that too, because I think it's just a really cool idea. And for, I don't know, 25 bucks, you can't beat it, honestly. So just wanted to throw that out to you. Thank you so much for watching. Come back for more. I got lots of stuff that I've already done. And I'll show you how I did those two. Have a great day. Y'all keep it straight up, our. See ya.